Hey there, here is Matthias. Uh, today I want to show you our new release from Opti Remote. It's a remoting control tool for Ventus. What you can see here right now, that's the interface, how it is right now. This is Opti Remote tool and in the background, in the background I have a simple uh, Ventus scene. Um, I just uh, give you a very short intro about uh, what's what's possible with Opti Remote. So let's maximize the window. What you have when you start, uh, what you can see when you start Opti Remote, you have the cluster manager here on that side. Uh, right now I use Opti Remote on the same machine like the the Ventus runtime or where, where the Ventus presentation is running. Um, of course, I also can uh, control control it remotely over a network from from a notebook or wherever. If I start my cluster manager, then Opti Remote reads out all the scene structure, what 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 he can find on the running uh, Ventus process on the on the on the defined machine. So what we have here right now is exactly we have here our our. Opti Remote project with a layout scene and in this, that we have uh, our main scene and that main scene here also have the scene port and that scene port loads our lower third here. That's exactly what Opti Remote represents me right now. If I click to my main window and I go to inspect then I get all the exposed values or all the all the properties, all the values I put into my Ventus scene data or project data um, and I have direct access and I can change whatever I want to change. I, for example, that scene have some content already. If I want to read out that content, I just have to click read out and then you can see I have here my, my text for the headline. If I change it to hello world then it changes directly. Values like here, scaling factor, everything you can control, exactly same. You, you have the same controls like in Ventus. That means also if you want to make uh, smaller steps, uh, it's exactly the same technology like in Ventus. You just have to press Control or Shift, Control and Control Shift together. And then you can uh, very precisely uh, adjust and control your scene. That's the main thing. What we have implemented to it is localized to the English, German and Chinese right now. We also have uh, different color schemes. For example, if somebody like a more bright one, then we have here another color scheme. We also have uh, a nice one. It's the, it's the dark one. Very close to, to yeah. To the scheme from the dark scheme from Ventus, and uh, I like that one as most. Let's go here to the dark green, hot pink. Everybody have to try by itself. Okay, let me show you also quickly how to create some more simple things. It's, it's very simple, really. Uh, if you know how it's, uh, it, it will save a lot of time if you if you want to use that tool uh, to control. Uh, uh, to use it as a backend configuration and control tool for, for shows or just for simple uh, touch applications. Let's say I make here one more. La, 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 la. Let's see, I make one more new scene, just an empty scene. And in that scene, I just, let's say, a rectangle. I just put a rectangle here and I drag and drop here my position. X, Y, and Z to the scene data. Here we go. I open again, go back into my windows, uh, into my Opti remote, and I say update. And here we have our new scene. If I go to inspect, I get the, the, the values I expose into the, the scene data. Yeah, and now it's straightforward. Now you have fully control about all that values what you exposed. Uh, if you drag and drop, for example, let's say I want to have also here my, my scaling, let's say x scaling, and 
by scaling the set don't need in that case because it's a rectangle I click update and then we have here also access to our X and Y scalings and so on I can put the color note in front <coughs> and I expose the color to my scene data I go back to my Opti remote and I update it and here we have the color so that's pretty much uh, what that tool is doing straightforward we will uh, of course you can control and feed the tool with everything with uh, content movies textures pictures whatever you can imagine we will keep you posted when we are in the beta release right now we are working on the alpha release so if you're interested to 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 help us testing to bring in new features feel free to contact us and uh, we will send you an alpha release for testing thank you very much and uh, see you later bye bye